Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to change the default program files installation folder on your Windows computer. So this is actually a fairly common issue people would have, especially if you are using an SSD to boot Windows off of and or you have an external drive that maybe is one or two terabytes to use as your storage driver or device and that's where you want to store most of your programs by default. So this brief tutorial will address that problem and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in regedit. Best match should say regedit. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now you want to navigate over to H key local machine on the left side here. So I'm just going to expand the arrow to drop it down. So we're going to go underneath H key local machine. And now I'm going to go underneath software. And now that we've done that, we're going to go underneath Microsoft. And I'm going to make this a little wider here. And now I'm going to go find Windows right here. So again, H key local machine, then software, then Microsoft, then Windows. And now finally, we're going to left click on the current version folder right here. So now on the right side, this is where we want to be. So I'm going to make this a little wider here. There should be a couple different things here. There should be something that says program files DIR. And if you're running a 64-bit version of the operating system or if you're running a 32-bit, you might have a couple different options. There might be two things here. It might say program files DIR as well as program files DIR and then times 86. You want to do the same thing I'm going to show you and for this one as for the other one as well. So I'm going to double click on it. And now for value data, you want to set it to whatever drive you want to save it to. So if you open up your star menu and type in computer, if you're unsure what drive you're looking to save these to, you could find out what device driver would be listed here. And this would be the drive you'd want to save the programs to. So if you had a drive and it would tell you the name of the drive, so you should be able to pick it out from this list. There should only be a couple there to be honest. So for value data, let's say our D drive was going to be where we want to save our programs to by default. Just delete the C here, put a D in. Make sure you did not get rid of the colon and that the backslash has been preserved. Once you've done that, you want to click on OK. And you can see it's been changed for the data over here. Again, this will change the default location. However, if you're doing the installation process of an application, most allow you to set a custom location. But that's basically what we were trying to avoid by going through this video. So again, you might have another option right underneath. This is program files DIR times 86. You want to change that one as well, just to what we did right here. And again, this D letter, this D drive letter can be different depending on what drive you want to save it to. It could be the EFGH, doesn't really matter. The D is literally just a placeholder for whatever your drive is. So I just want to put that out there. And you can always come back in here and change it back to what it was. I would recommend that you take note of what it was before, as well as backing up your registry before you make any changes. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.